Hello, this is the second tutorial video on how to process information inside the UshaID platform. Today I will explain to you how do you process Twitter messages. First of all, you need to go to your platform webpage. In this case, we will use the Allianz Guinea platform that was used to monitor the first presidential election in the country in July 2010. Today I will explain to you how do we process messages coming inside your UshaID platform, meaning Twitter messages that have been tagged with the hashtag associated with your platform. In this case, we're looking for messages associated with this hashtag Guinea, Guinea vote report, or Guinea election. There may be other messages on Twitter that can be relevant to your platform, but to monitor those messages, you need to use other tools like TweetTech or Monitor outside your platform. I will explain to you how to use those tools in another tutorial. To process Twitter messages associated with your hashtag, you need to log in into the admin section of your platform and to do so, you write login at the end of your URL. From this page, you insert your username and your password that must have been given to you by an administrator of the platform, and then you log in. This is the dashboard. From here, you can see a summary of all incoming information inside your instance, the report, the messages, and some statistics about number of reports per day. To access the Twitter messages, you can go through here, Twitter, or through here, Messages. Let's go through Twitter. Here is the list of your Twitter messages incoming to your platform thanks to the hashtag that you have chosen for your platform. As you can see, Twitter messages are a little bit different than SMS. The first thing that it's important to notice is that Twitter messages may have been retweeted so you can have something like 100 messages into your platform, but only five of them are actually the original messages. As you can see here, for example, this is a retweet with the same hashtags. Another problem is that you cannot exclude automatically retweets because sometimes people edit their retweet. So the message coming into your platform with the right hashtag is actually the retweeted one and not the original one. A second problem that you have in managing Twitter messages in coming into your platform is this, the links. Normally people on Twitter don't write a complete message by telling you the what and when and where. They just write a common sentence and then they add a link. In this case, let's go through these messages and try to find out what can be an actionable message for us. Let's go for example to this one, speaking about violent raid on Guinea campaign office. As you can see from this message, you don't have a precise what and you don't have a location, but there is a link. So we may want to see if maybe in this link we can find all the information that we're looking for. Let's open this page. And this is what this tweet message is about. Violent rate on Guinea campaign office. We're going to read our article. And actually we can find here a what? member of the Presidential Guard stage a violent overnight raid on the party headquarters. And then we go through all the report and here we have a location, the Kandara military base in Conakry, which means that this Twitter message is actually a message from which we can create a report. Before creating a report, again, we need to go to the search tab here and look if there's already another report inserted into the platform that may have been reporting the same event. We're talking about violent raid. Let's look if there's another report into our platform. Hmm, there's only one and it speaks about investment in mineral resources. This report is actually pretty old. It's the 27th of June. It's, exact, it's not exactly the same report we are processing, but to be sure, Let's research again, violent raid, and then we said that our location is Conakry, so let's look for violent raid in Conakry. Search, here we are. Here we have a list of report. The majority of them is from September, August and July, so they're old reports. We check if there's something that seems relevant 
to our report, but it doesn't seem to me that there's anything that's exactly like what we want to report. So that's it. We can go on and process our Twitter message. We go back to our list, we find our tweet message which is here, and we click on Create Report. Here we are. As you can see, the message of the tweet is already inserted into the description field, but as we were saying before, there's not a lot of information here. So what we do is that we go back to our article and we copy and paste the relevant information. This is relevant, it's talking about when this happened, 11 p.m. on Wednesday. That's it. Go here and we copy the relevant information. Then here again, confirm the incident, and the several party members have been arrested. And this is also something relevant that we want to add to our report. And then at the end of the report, there was the location. Here it is. Here it is. This is our relevant description of the incident. Now, we can keep the tweet message as title because it's brief and it's giving us the what. Violent raid on Guinea campaign office. We can add in Conakry. Here we are. Then we go on our map and we write Conakry. We find the location. Here we are. Here we have our latitude and longitude. So we go down and we need to modify the date because according to this article, this event happened on Wednesday at 11 p.m. So we go here. Now it's Thursday, we go back on Wednesday, and it's 11 p.m. Here we are, this is the date and time. Then we go to the categories. We're speaking about violent rate of member of the guard of transitional president. So it's violence. And... It's resemblement and rally. And it's also conflict between party supporters. That's it. Perfect. Now here we can add our link to the article, which is here. We copy and paste it. Here we are. We don't have any video or photos. We go down. We write our personal information and again very important that we write a personal information because if something is wrong in this report then the administrator of the platform can contact us oh we forget to check the show messages here are all the messages that were coming from this Twitter account we may want to read that because we want to be sure that this person is actually a reliable source he was sending messages about the violent raid and then again about Militaire Rochesse du Parti, and then again about election. Well, this seems a person that is tweeting a lot about the elections in Guinea. There may be someone that we want to consider as a reliable source. That's perfect. We approve this report. We don't verify it because we're not verifiers. We need to have been granted for the administrator of the platforms the permission to verify this report. Source reliability and information probability, we don't use them because they're not public yet. And then we can save and close. Well, here we are. This is the list of reports, and this is the report that we just created out of this Twitter message. Here we can see that the report was approved. We can see here the date in which it was approved. We can see here that this report was not verified. Here we see the location. And then we see that it was submitted by this account via Twitter. And here we have our categories. Well, now we can go back to our messages and then go back to Twitter. 
and we can see that our report here has been flagged as a report created. In fact, here we can see the view report. Well, now we're done. We can go on processing our other Twitter messages.